Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the 2023 Herping Vlog. We're checking out a new area today, and uh, that's always a sign you like to see, although I doubt we're going to see any today because it's a little bit cool, but it's always possible. The main goal today is to scout out some habitat that I've been looking at for spring salamanders and potentially snakes when it gets a little bit warmer. It might end up getting warm enough for snakes today, but I'm just not sure. It's so soaked still from all the rain we had last night. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but it is getting to be that time of year when snakes could pop up at any time. So I'm going to keep my head on a swivel, but mostly going to be hoping for some nice spring salamander habitat today. But this place is pretty beautiful. Nice open woods. All right, this is looking a little bit better. There's a little green frog to start the day. It's the first herp I've seen. Well, today is off to a pretty good start, if I do say so myself. <laughs> this giant spring salamander was under that rock. This is a freaking unit of a salamander. Look at that. So, so cool. Now you might be thinking, Noah, you've had a pretty slow winter for spring salamanders so far. And the truth is I have, but that's largely because I've been trying to find them in new places rather than just going to the same place where I know they're common. And it took a while, but we finally got one, an adult at least. We've seen a ton of larvae. So we've confirmed a bunch of different new spots for them, but this is the first time we've gotten our eyes on an adult this winter. And man, was it worth it. This thing is beautiful and gigantic. They get even bigger than this, and this is still even bigger than the biggest red salamander I think we've seen this winter. When I flipped the rock that this guy was under, that was all I saw sticking out of a hole. Luckily, I was able to flip the next rock and get to him, but such a fantastic looking face with that white specking and those big predator eyes. It's very likely that these guys eat a lot of other salamanders based on the frequency with which people find them eating other salamanders, which is so cool to me. So it's a pretty accurate analogy to say that these guys are the king snake of the salamander world, at least around here. Such a beautiful, beautiful face. Really, really cool. Fantastic way to start off the episode. This is only the second herp I've seen. I saw, no, I actually did see a Desmog that got away. So the third herp I've seen, only the second one I've shown. Just so awesome. What a fantastic animal. I've gotten a couple photos of this guy. One of the things I love the most about spring salamanders is they're big enough you can actually take wide angle photos of them in habitat without any sort of crazy lens or anything. All right, big dude. So awesome. Hopefully we can find another one. We just got here. So unfortunately, like with many places in uh, Metro Atlanta, this beautiful little creek in pretty pristine habitat backs up to a neighborhood. There's a house like right there, so. Um, I'm going to walk back to the main stem of the creek and then we'll follow it downstream a little bit more and see if we can find another offshoot that doesn't end up in a neighborhood. Look at how rotund these Talladega seal salamanders are. I finally got my hands on a couple. I've seen a few since I saw the spring, but they're just ridiculous looking. <laughs> they're so fat. I I'm assuming these are two gravid females. There's no way that they're just that chubby, but either way. Another species for the day, and another locality for this species that has only recently been described, so pretty cool. All right, I just took a quick photo of these two chunks since they're just sitting here, so I'm going to put them back under their rock now. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's just ridiculous looking. It looks even more ridiculous in the water. And this thing's like... It's got some scarring on its head like something has been chewing on it. I don't know if these guys combat, but I, I mean, there's no way that's not a gravid female. I would assume, but I could be wrong. Here's your rock. All right, chunk number two. Another one. Just uncovered one while trying to release the other one. These things are legitimately impossible to grab sometimes. Come here. I just want to put you back under the rock I found you under. Here you go, young chunk. All right, guys, found a really good looking new creek just downstream from the last one. Found one really good looking rock, and bam, that is spring salamander number two for the day. A little smaller than the first one, but I think it's a little more vibrant. Definitely a beautiful animal, look at that. Man, what a beauty. This thing is just neon. It's just so, so awesome. Look at those little toes. Fantastic. 
And this is the uh, this is the Carolina spring salamander subspecies. In the last episode, we were looking for northern springs, which I have not actually seen yet in their adult form. I got my life or larval one. All right, I'm going to walk this guy back over to his rock, and we're going to see if we can find more. Two so far. Really, really good day. All right, dude, back to your perfect rock. Big flat rock in the middle of the creek with dry land under it. That orange tail. Go on. This looks like a fantastic rock, so I'm going to try to record it. And uh, hopefully I don't regret it if I lose something. There's a big uh, chiaha and a crayfish. That's nice. So nice to see some flowers, even if they're not native. It's a sign that spring is well on the way. All right, I got one more little area I'm gonna try to check out, but I'm wading across the creek, headed back in the direction of the car. And if this last area doesn't pan out, this might be it for today, but we'll see. I found a baseball card. I don't know how well it's gonna come out, but I can hear the frogs calling down at the road from my porch this morning it's kind of ridiculous how loud they are but we're not going to be looking for frogs today it's going to be 70 degrees so we're going to try to find some snakes don't know how well it's going to go but we'll give it a shot all right everyone we are in the field i'm here with micah today and we are checking out a new area hoping to see some snakes so it is a new area so i'm not going to get my hopes up but I don't think it will be too much to ask that we turn up something of interest today because there's a lot of cool snakes and salamanders that we could potentially find in this spot. So we're going to get to it and keep our fingers crossed. Well, we stumbled across some of the best looking mud salamander habitat I have ever seen in this area. So we're going to poke around here in a minute and see what we can turn up. Well, that's not really something I was expecting to find today, but there's our first copperhead of the year. Really nice. That is really, really, really not something I was expecting today. This might even be, no, it's not my first live copperhead from this area. I just remembered I had one night where I rode cruise too, but it's definitely the first I've hiked here. Really nice, pretty good looking snake too. And a really cool in C2, just chilling in the stump. We were just talking about how cane breaky this area looks. There's a little bit of tin over there. We're gonna try to flip, but pretty good start to the day. This has been the best week we've had in a while so far. All right, well, we're going to leave that little dude right there. Great way to start the day with a nice little copperhead. First one of 2023. It's a really weird little flip. This is a southern two-line salamander and very few eggs. There's only like six of them. Normally when we flip these guys on eggs, there's quite a few, but <laughs> I didn't even realize there were eggs at first. But I'm going to try to put this log back very gently. Really neat. All right, guys, here's our next find of the day, and it's actually a pretty good one. This is only the second time I have ever seen Desmognathus apalachicole in this area, and it's actually the first one of the year. Not really much to look at, but for salamander nerds, it's a pretty cool find. So I'm going to get a quick voucher shot of this guy, and then we'll let him go. But first, apalachicola dusky of 2023 for us. All right, well, this is close to our target. We were hoping for a mud salamander today, but as usual, so far we have just seen this one red salamander. But he gave me quite a scare. This is a southern red since we're in the coastal plain today. Very unremarkable looking little red salamander, but I'm definitely happy to see him. I'm kind of surprised it took us this long to get one today. But we're just now getting into another nice little stretch of potential mud salamander habitat. So let me get a quick voucher shot of this guy and we'll let him go. All right, Mike had just flipped our next salamander of the day. This guy, <laughs> a very, very tiny Hillis's dwarf salamander. We haven't seen one of these guys probably since last winter. This isn't the most remarkable looking hill and I'm sure we'll see more over the next couple weeks. So I'm not going to take the time to put the macro on for this one, but definitely a nice addition to the tally for the day. And here's another little hill aside. This one is quite a bit prettier than the last one. Look at that guy. Very nice. All right, everyone, while well, I'm dropping Micah off back at home, there's a pretty wild fog that has rolled in. Like, that is just super weird and really cool looking. But I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. It was a pretty good day. We didn't get any of our targets, really, but we did see a snake. And, you know, there haven't been too many snakes lately, so I'm definitely glad that happened. But, yeah, solid day all around. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.